Hi everyone, my name is Steph, this is Kidlit Joy and welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome to a week of review title reviews coming out. So I received a huge stack of books, you might have seen the video where I unboxed all of them from Alan and Unwin. I was really really grateful because they've all been really really great reads and this is the first video where we're going to kick off talking about all of them. And I'm starting with Thunderhead by Sophie Beer. This is a middle fiction contemporary story and it was a really really wonderful read. I'm going to start off with the summary on the back. It says, Meet Thunderhead, awkward, music obsessed and a magnet for bad luck. Their favourite things in life are listening to records and hanging out with their best and only friend Moonflower. But Thunderhead is a big secret, and when Moonflower moves schools, Thunderhead is faced with the reality of surviving the wilderness of high school alone. Make new friends? No thank you very much. As two big life events approach, Thunderhead posts playlists and heartfelt diary entries as an outlet to try and make sense of their changing world, to try and calm the storm brewing in their brain, and to try and find the courage to unfurl their heart. Then it says, drawing on Sophie B's own experience of hearing loss, this, this indelible debut illustrated middle grade novel about music, disability, friendship, and fandom is immediately engaging, utterly authentic, and entirely unputdownable. And it really was. Despite the fact that this is quite a large book, it is a very, very fast paced read, uh, particularly for a fluent reader. It is the story of Thunderhead who is posting these diary and journal entries on a defunct online forum for a band that used to be famous, but no one is posting there now. And so they're posting under the pseudonym of Thunderhead. They also don't identify as male or female. So they talk about themselves as they. We find out pretty quickly at the start of the book that one Thunderhead absolutely loves music. Nearly every chapter begins with a playlist that defines the chapter, but is also a song that is significant in Thunderhead's journey. And we also find out that Thunderhead has not only one, but two tumors connected to their ears and that they are facing surgery where they are definitely going to lose at least 50% of their hearing and they also have the potential to have a disease that is going to see them progressively lose their, the rest of their hearing. And they are terrified because their hearing is everything because they are such music lovers that music is a big part of their life and they just don't know what is what to do with the fact that they are going to lose that. And so this book is an exploration of knowing that you're facing something that is going to absolutely change your life and how to deal with that and how to help people and how people around you deal with that. And also how sometimes reaching out to people who have experienced the same thing can give you a different perspective on what's about to happen. And I really like that aspect of the story because there is a thread through here where Thunderhead is speaking to someone who has gone through the exact same thing and is also a music lover. And they give them some perspective on the fact that, okay, no, it will never be the same, but it will be different. And different doesn't necessarily mean bad. It just means different. And so the exploration of that alongside the fact that it's okay and it's healthy to grieve losing something that is so important to you really helped to elevate the story. There's also the complex dynamics of teen friendships and losing a friend and then trying to fit in with friends who maybe are not really your friends and then trying to make new friends, but being unwilling to open yourself up to things. And so everything kind of gets complicated and complex. And of course, being a music fan, Thunderhead has a favorite artist and that is a big part of this story. And then when Thunderhead finds out and there's a huge whole journey with that artist for Thunderhead alongside every other journey that they're going on. So it is complex and it is heartfelt and it is raw and at times it's uncomfortable to read, but it is really beautifully done. And as it says, the author has used her own experiences with hearing loss to craft this story, which also makes it an incredibly personal story to read as well, but it is absolutely beautiful and I highly recommend it. It's probably one of the best contemporary middle fiction stories I've read this year. I will leave more information about the book and also links to the author and the publisher down below. Thank you again to Alan Unwin for the review copy. In the comments, I'd love to know, are you planning on picking this book up? Have you read books that are similar to it? Feel free to leave your recommendations down below. Otherwise, feel free to leave the headphone emoji to let me know that you're here. I hope that wherever you are in the world, you're staying safe and healthy and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye everyone.